Eight News is your local election headquarters, and tonight we have new details on a special election impacting some Central Virginia residents. Eight News reporter Rachel Keller joining us tonight in the Digital Center with more on the plan to fill State Senator Jennifer McClellan's seat as she heads to Congress. Rachel. That's right. Senate leader Louise Lucas has set the date of the 9th district special election for March 28th. This in order to ensure representation for the General Assembly's veto session. Senator Louise Lucas announcing on Twitter that political parties have until Monday to nominate their 9th district candidates. Here's 8 News political analyst Rich Marr. I think they wanted to make sure that in this district where it's very likely a Democrat will win, get somebody in the seat so that they'll be there for the veto session, they'll be there for any special sessions over the summer, and they can be a reliable Democratic vote. There will be a Democratic firehouse primary this Sunday, February 26th. To be considered as a Democrat candidate, you have to submit a $2,500 fee and signatures from 50 registered voters in the district. This is due to the nominating committee by 7 tomorrow night, February 24th. Candidates who have expressed interest includes delegate Lamont Bagby of Henrico, Delegate Don Adams of Richmond, and 4th District Democratic Chair Alexis Rogers. Mar weighs in. Here we have two sitting delegates who have um, you know, expressed support. There's a third candidate, Alexis Rogers, who has, uh, I think, a, a strong base of support among young progressives in the city of Richmond. There are five locations where you can vote in the Democratic primary, including IBEW 666 on East Nine Mile Road in Highland Springs and the Ashland Municipal Building in Ashland. The Republican Party of Virginia said today that they will have a party canvas this Sunday to pick their candidate. Ninth District Republican voters can participate from noon until 2 p.m. in Richmond. Meantime, it's important to keep in mind that redistricting is expected to take place later this year. People who are voting right now for Alexis Rogers or Dawn Adams or Lamont Bagby will be voting for someone entirely different in the fall. Make sure to head to our website for details on all five polling locations for the Democratic primary. Polls will be open from 9 in the morning until 6 in the evening on Sunday. In the Digital Center, Rachel Keller, 8 News.